the Lord. My name is Pastor Rajesh Yadavi. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. God bless you and your family. It's going to be wonderful today. And today we are going to focus on a beautiful topic that is rapture. Is rapture is in 2022? Matthew 23 verse 30. The disciples of Lord Jesus Christ came to Jesus and asked questions. Lord Jesus, when the end times will start, when the end is going to happen, and Lord Jesus Christ replied to them, replied to his disciples, my dear disciples, if you want to know about the end times, learn from the fig tree. Look at the fig tree. So Jesus said to them, if you want to know about the end times, if you want to know when the end times will start, hey, you have to look at the fig tree. You have to learn from the fig tree. Now, the fig tree in the Bible, it's a symbol of the nation of Israel. So fig tree, it represents Israel. So Lord Jesus Christ was saying to them, if you want to know about the end times, hey, the best thing is that you have to look at the Israel. See what's happening in Israel. When you look at the Israel, hey, you will have an idea when the end is going to be there. You know, the greatest prophecy which was fulfilled is the reformation of the nation of Israel. That's the, that's the super sign. That's the greatest sign for end times. And therefore, today we are saying that, yes, the end times is very near. Is rapture is in 2022. Actually, no one can say that the rapture will be on this day or on this year. But with the help of the prophecies which are mentioned there in the Bible, we have an idea. We get some information about the rapture. Let's go to Titus 2.13. It says here, as you await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. You know, we have a blessed hope. A lot of things are going in this world. A lot of chaos in this world. There is sickness all over the world. Economy is going down all over the world. People have lost hope. But here the Bible says that we have a blessed hope. And that hope is that in this chaos, in this situation of uncertainty, Lord Jesus Christ is going to come. He says here, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Hey, that's our blessed hope. Now, the most important thing is that if you want to know about the rapture, when the rapture is going to happen, at least to get an idea when the rapture is going to happen, it's very important that you have to know the, the starting dates of the Israel. When the Israel was reformed. And once you know the starting, the starting date, you just have to add 70 or 80 years to that starting date or the starting year. And then you have an idea when the tribulation is going to happen. And then you minus 7, then you have an idea when the rapture is going to happen. So it's very important that you have to know the starting date of Israel. When Israel was reformed. Now there are three answers. Some say it's 1947. Some say it's 1948. Some say it's 1949. Now why people say it's 1947, why people say it's 1948, why people say 1949, we are going to look at it. So these are the three, three dates. As I said, to this date, you just have to add 70 or 80 years and then you have the answer. Now, first we'll see why people say that it, it should be 1947. In 1947, the United Nations, they partitioned the land. They said, okay, some of the land, it goes to Jews and some of the land, it goes to Arab. So in 1947, UN, United Nations, they did the partitioning of the land. And in 1948, May 14, 1948, Israel became a nation. 1947, the declaration was made. 
that there will be two land one for one for the Jews and other for the Arabs but in May 14 1948 you have all the Jews coming from all over the world and the nation was formed the nation was rebirth it was in 1948 and some people say 1949 now what happened in 1949 in 1949 we have the Knesset meeting now what do you mean by Knesset? Knesset it's a Hebrew word which means the great assembly. So that's the time the leaders of Israel they met in assembly and they formed a constitution. They formed the laws. As in India we, we, we celebrate uh, 15 August 1947 as the Independence Day and 26 Jan 1950 as the Republic Day. And you can say 1949 it was the Republic Day for the Israel. 1948 was was when they declared their independence the nation was formed and 1949 the Constitution was framed the laws were framed. So there are three dates 1947, 1948, 1949. Now we just have to add 70 or 80 years and then we'll have the answer when the rapture is going to happen. Let's go ahead. Now let's go to Psalm 1912. Now why I'm saying that we just have to add 70 or 80 years to the, uh, to the starting date. Why? The answer is here. The days of our years are three score years and ten. Now the one score is 20 years, so 3 score is 60 years and 10, so 70 years. So days of our years are 70 years and if by reason of strength they are 4 score years. 4 score is how much? 80 years. Yet is their strength, labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away. So here we have an information about a generation the Jewish generation so this is 70 years or this is 80 years it's between 70 and 80 years so that's why I'm saying that we just have to add 70 to the starting date of Israel now we have three starting dates 1947 1948 and 1949 and we just have to add now 70 or 80 years and then we get some information when the rapture is going to happen no one knows but just we, we, we get, get some information about because the prophecies are for that so that we have an idea about what's going to happen in the future when Lord Jesus Christ was born the prophecy was already there that he was going to be born in Bethlehem the prophecy was already there that that he was going to be born in the family of David as you know that Mary was from the descendant of David and also Joseph was from the descendant of David and that's why there, there was a prophecy that Lord Jesus Christ will be born in the family of David he'll be from uh, he'll be born in Bethlehem his death his resurrection and his purpose everything was prophesied so when you look at the uh, prophecies we have an idea what's going to happen in the future let's go to Matthew chapter 24 verse 30 now learn this parable from the fig tree Jesus saying to the disciple if you want to know about the about the end times you learn from the fig tree when it branches has already become tender and put forth leaves that is when the fig tree is getting rebirth you know that the summer is nearer so you also when you see all this thing know that the end is nearer at the door see when you see the nation of Israel being rebirth then you know that the end is near that's what Lord Jesus Christ was explaining them Actually, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all this thing take place. Now, Jesus is talking about which generation? The generation which will see the reformation of the state of Israel. The generation which, we see, which will see the rebirth of the nation of Israel. That the Jews who came from all over, all over the world to Israel when the Israel was rebirthed in 1947, 1948, 1949. They will be living and 
they will see the tribulation they will see the millennium kingdom that's what lord jesus christ is trying to say this generation the generation of jews which will see the rebirth of the nation of israel that generation will see the end times that generation will see the tribulation that generation will go to the tribulation and that generation will see the millennium kingdom and as you know that generation is is of 70 or 80 years we just found out so what we have to do we have to add 70 or 80 years to the starting date of israel and then you have an idea about when the rapture is going to happen okay let's do some calculation now as you know that we have now three dates 1947 1948 1949 because some people believe it's 1947 1948 or 1949 now let's add 70 years first so 1947 plus you have 70 that becomes 2017 2017 now you know in 2017 the rapture did happen but there was one sign which happened on 23rd september i think you must be knowing that a woman clothed with the sun and with the moon under his feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head so that sign appeared in heaven on september 23 2017 but the rapture didn't happen now let's add 1948 plus 70 that becomes 2018 in 2018 also the rapture didn't happen now let's add 1949 plus 70 it becomes 2019 and that's the year also the rapture didn't happen so now we have done the addition of 70 to 1947 1948 and 1949 so uh, we'll, we we have not got the claim the rapture didn't happen now let's add 80 80 now 1947 plus 80 that becomes 2027 now now after this the millennium kingdom is going to start so what you have to do if you want to know about the rapture you have to do the subtraction of minus 7 because you know that tribulation will be of 7 years so we have to minus 2027 minus 7 that becomes 2020 as you know that the first event is the rapture the second event is the tribulation the third event is the second coming of lord jesus christ the fourth event is the armageddon and then we have the millennium kingdom then we have the great white throne judgment and then we have the new heaven and new earth so 1947 plus 80 equals to 2027 so you have to uh, subtract 7 because 7 you have the years of tribulation 7 years of tribulation that becomes 2020 nothing happened on 2020 Now let's uh, add uh, 80 to 1948. 1948 plus 80 that becomes 2028. Now 2028 you minus 7 that becomes 2021. And 2020 also you know the rapture didn't happen. Now we have the last option. Let's add 80 to 1949. 1949 plus 80 equals to 2029. and now you subtract 7 from 2029 because 7 you know 7 you have the years for the tribulation and before the tribulation you have the rapture you subtract 7 now you have 2022 so is 2022 the year of rapture is 2022 the year of rapture <laughs> we don't know but but with the help of the prophecy Hey we have an idea that we are so close to the rapture we are so close to the rapture any time now the believers they will be lifted high to heaven jesus will come and he will take us home and that's our blessed hope blessed hope is to see the lord jesus christ in the cloud and he's going to say oh come my church come my son come my daughter it's time to go home it's 2022 the year of rapture and uh, secondly you do the addition 2 plus 0 no value plus 2 plus 2 that becomes how much 6 6 6 6 that's 
the number of antichrist and as you know that when the rapture happens the antichrist is going to come in the picture in the tribulation so is 2022 is the year where the antichrist is going to come of course before that will be raptured but but is 2022 the antichrist is going to come 2 plus 2 6 6 6 that's the number for antichrist so my dear brothers this is important this year is important and we all are here in this year 2022 it's so sad many didn't make it our loved ones so many loved ones they didn't make it to 2022 but you are there because god wa- want, wants to save you god wants to save your family god wants to save your friends 2022 is the year of salvation if you are not saved if your family is not saved if your friends are not saved if your relatives are not saved if your friends are not saved hey it's time by god grace to give them the gospel to them so that they will be saved let's pray almighty and awesome father god thank you so much for this time thank you for your love and thank you for your grace i pray all this most in the lord sir jesus christ amen